you might be surprised to know that China owns a significant part of Hollywood. Indeed, the dragon's entry into the glamorous world of Hollywood dates back to the late 20th century. The late 90s and early 2000s saw the initial stirrings of this trend, a time when China's economic boom was beginning to make ripples on the global stage. It was during this period that China's interest in Hollywood began to take shape. The allure of Hollywood's glitz and glamour combined with its global influence made it an attractive investment for China's burgeoning billionaires. The first few investments were modest, often overlooked, but they laid the groundwork for what was to come. Then came the year 2012, a landmark year when the Chinese conglomerate Dalian Wonder Group made headlines around the world with its $2.5 billion acquisition of AMC Entertainment, one of America's largest cinema chains. This was the first major Chinese investment in Hollywood, and it sent a clear message to the world. China was ready to play a leading role on the global stage of entertainment. The following years saw a surge in Chinese investments in Hollywood. High-profile acquisitions and partnerships became the norm, from major film studios to production companies, from distribution networks to cinema chains, Chinese companies were steadily increasing their presence in Hollywood. But it wasn't just about business. These investments gave China a seat at the table, allowing it to influence the narratives and images that Hollywood was exporting to the world. It was a smart and strategic move, one that would have far-reaching implications on global culture and politics. The Hollywood-China relationship has since evolved, become more complex and at times controversial. But one thing is clear, China's entry into Hollywood has forever changed the dynamics of the global film industry. As we'll see, this was just the beginning of China's Hollywood story. In the scenes to follow, we'll delve deeper into this fascinating tale of economic power, cultural influence, and international politics. The dragon has indeed entered Hollywood, and it's here to stay. In the early 2000s, China and Hollywood saw a golden age of collaboration. The story of this union begins as the new millennium unfolds. Hollywood, always on the hunt for fresh narratives and broader markets, found a treasure trove in China. The country's rich history, vibrant culture, and burgeoning economy presented an irresistible allure. This was a time when East met West on the silver screen, sparking a surge in co-productions. Co-productions, where studios from both sides of the Pacific partnered to create films, became a common sight. The benefits were twofold. For Hollywood, it meant gaining a foothold in the rapidly growing Chinese market. For China, it was a chance to showcase its culture and stories on a global platform. Films like The Karate Kid and Kung Fu Panda emerged from this symbiotic relationship, blending Eastern philosophies with Western storytelling. But the collaboration wasn't just about stories, it was also about money. As China's middle class expanded, so did its appetite for entertainment. Chinese audiences flocked to cinemas, transforming the nation into the world's second largest box office. Hollywood, eager to tap into this lucrative market, began to cater more and more to Chinese tastes. This era also saw an influx of Chinese investments in Hollywood. Chinese companies, thirsty for international recognition and expansion, started buying stakes in major Hollywood studios. This investment surge meant that Hollywood had to consider Chinese interests, not just in terms of content, but in business decisions as well. In essence, the golden age of collaboration was a win-win situation. Hollywood got access to the Chinese market and money, and China got a platform to project its soft power globally. But as we'll see, this relationship morphed into something far more complex and contentious. This golden age set the stage for the significant influence China wields in Hollywood today. The seed sown during this period would grow into a forest of influence, casting long shadows over the Hollywood we know today. But that, dear listeners, is, is a tale for another scene. Stay tuned, money talks. And in Hollywood, it directs. The influx of Chinese investments has significantly swayed Hollywood's creative decisions. It's not just about funding the next big blockbuster. It's about shaping the narrative to comply with Chinese censorship laws. This has resulted in a subtle shift in Hollywood storytelling, a shift that caters to a different sensibility, a different audience, and a different set of regulations. Let's take a look at some examples. Remember the 2012 remake of uh, Red Dawn? Initially, the invaders were Chinese, but in the final cut, they magically transformed into North Koreans. Or consider the film Iron Man 3, 
which featured additional scenes exclusively for the Chinese audience, including renowned Chinese actors and product placements, none of which appeared in the international version. And then there's World War Z, where the original storyline of the zombie outbreak originating in China was entirely rewritten to avoid upsetting Chinese officials. Why these changes, you ask? Simple. Hollywood studios are playing by the rules set by China's censorship board to tap into the lucrative Chinese market. China, after all, is the world's second largest film market and gaining access to it can mean the difference between a box office hit and a flop. However, this influence isn't always overt. Sometimes it's as subtle as tweaking a character's nationality or avoiding specific political narratives. It's about painting a picture that aligns with the Chinese government's image of itself and its place in the world. But what does this mean for Hollywood's creative integrity? Are filmmakers compromising their vision for the sake of financial gain? And what does this mean for audiences worldwide who are served a version of reality filtered through a foreign lens? China's economic power in Hollywood has had a profound impact on the industry's creative direction. It's a shift that has sparked debates about creative freedom, cultural representation, and the future of global storytelling, and it's a conversation that's just getting started. What happens when the world's largest film industry starts shaping its content for the world's largest audience? As the lines between cultures blur in our globalized world, Hollywood's pivot towards China brings forth a significant question. Is this a cultural exchange or a cultural invasion? The power of cinema extends beyond mere entertainment. It molds perceptions, influences ideologies, and subtly exports cultural narratives. Consider Hollywood's portrayal of China. The nation often appears as an exotic, almost mystic land, a portrayal that's more fantasy than reality. This representation creates a distorted image, one that's tailored to fit the Western narrative. Simultaneously, content that might contradict or challenge China's political narrative often finds itself on the cutting room floor. This is not simply a matter of cultural representation, but of political influence. As films serve as tools for soft power, the storylines, characters, and themes they showcase can significantly impact global perceptions. When a single narrative dominates, it can lead to a homogenized cultural landscape, limiting the diversity of stories and perspectives shared on the global stage. This is not an exchange of culture, but rather the imposition of a single narrative. Furthermore, the influence of Chinese investment in Hollywood goes beyond the films themselves. It extends to the entire filmmaking process, from script writing to post-production. This influence can alter the creative integrity of a film, as filmmakers must navigate the tightrope of Chinese censorship laws and the expectations of Chinese investors. But it's not just about what's being shown, it's also about what's being silenced. Films that challenge or critique certain ideologies often find themselves struggling to secure financing or distribution. This is where the question of cultural exchange becomes a question of cultural invasion. The influence of China in Hollywood extends far beyond the box office. It shapes our understanding of cultures, our perceptions of ideologies, and ultimately shapes the narrative of our global society. It's crucial that we understand this influence, question it, and engage in conversations about it. Because after all, the power of cinema is not just in the stories it tells, but in the stories it chooses not to tell. Fast forward to today and China's influence in Hollywood is more substantial than ever. As the world's second largest film market, China's financial clout in the global film industry is hard to ignore. With deep pockets and a growing appetite for entertainment, the country has continually invested in Hollywood, becoming an integral part of its financial ecosystem. This financial muscle is not without its implications. It's not just about the money flowing into Hollywood, it's about what that money can control. With these investments, China has gained significant sway over the content that Hollywood produces. The country's strict censorship laws and cultural preferences are shaping the narratives, themes, and even the casting decisions in films intended for global audiences. In some instances, filmmakers have found themselves walking a tightrope, trying to balance creative freedom with the demands of Chinese investors and censors. This influence extends beyond the silver screen, seeping into the very fabric of the film industry, from script writing to post-production. But it's not just about censorship or narrative control. China's influence also extends to film distribution. Many Hollywood blockbusters rely heavily on the Chinese box office for their financial success. 
As a result, release dates, marketing strategies, and even the structure of some films are tailored to appeal to Chinese audiences. It's a delicate dance, a game of give and take. Hollywood needs China's financial input and vast audience, while China sees Hollywood as a means to extend its soft power globally, shaping international perceptions through film. Yet this relationship is not without its critics. Many have raised concerns about the potential erosion of creative freedom and the propagation of a single narrative that aligns with China's political agenda. These concerns highlight the complexities of this relationship and the challenges it presents to Hollywood. China's grip on Hollywood is tighter than ever. But what does this mean for the future? As we delve deeper into this intricate dance between Hollywood and China, it's clear that the stakes are much higher than box office returns. The future of Hollywood, it seems, may well be written in Chinese. What does a Hollywood under Chinese influence look like? It's a question that sparks curiosity, concern, and a considerable amount of conjecture. As we gaze into the crystal ball of the future, we can anticipate several potential scenarios unfolding. For starters, we may see a further melding of East and West in cinematic storytelling. This fusion could lead to a richer, more diverse tapestry of narratives that span cultures, continents and viewpoints. But it's not all rosy. This blending could also lead to a homogenization of stories where unique cultural nuances are lost in translation or worse, intentionally suppressed to fit a specific agenda. Then there's the potential impact on creative freedom. As financial stakes rise, so too does the pressure to conform to censorship laws and cultural norms that may not align with Hollywood's traditionally free-spirited approach to filmmaking. This could result in a Hollywood that's less bold, less daring and less willing to push boundaries. On the flip side, Hollywood's push into the Chinese market could also spur a new wave of innovation and creativity. Forced to navigate a complex web of regulations and cultural sensitivities, filmmakers might rise to the occasion, creating groundbreaking cinema that resonates globally. But perhaps the most profound change could be the shift in global cultural influence. For decades, Hollywood has been a dominant force in shaping the world's perceptions and narratives. But as Chinese influence grows, we may see a shift in this dynamic. The stories, values and perspectives that shape our world could increasingly be filtered through a Chinese lens. The stakes are high and the repercussions are far reaching. The future of Hollywood is not just about box office revenues and blockbuster hits. It's about the power of storytelling and the influence it wields on a global scale. Only time will tell what the final act of this Hollywood drama will look like. As we wait for the curtain to rise, we must remain vigilant, informed, and engaged in the ongoing dialogue about the future of our beloved silver screen. So what have we learned about China's influence in Hollywood? We've traveled through a narrative that began with the arrival of the dragon in Hollywood, where the initial collaborations between Chinese investors and Hollywood studios were seen as a golden opportunity for both sides. The allure of tapping into the world's most populous nation and its rapidly growing middle class was too enticing for Hollywood to resist. As we moved forward, we saw the power of the purse in action. With Chinese money flowing into Hollywood, we witnessed a shift in narrative and creative decisions. Content was subtly and sometimes not so subtly altered to appease Chinese censorship laws and cultural sensitivities. The economic stakes became clear. Hollywood's strategy to penetrate the Chinese market often led to compromises in storytelling and themes. Then we delved into the cultural implications of this marriage between Hollywood and China. We explored how films, consciously or unconsciously, began to serve as tools for soft power, shaping global perceptions and influencing international audiences with specific political narratives. What started as a cultural exchange seemed, in some ways, to morph into a cultural invasion. We also took a look at the current scenario, where the influence of Chinese investments in Hollywood continues to grow. The potential future scenarios paint a complex picture. While the allure of the vast Chinese market remains, there are increasing concerns about the extent of China's influence over Hollywood's creative decisions. Finally, we discussed the future of Hollywood. As the global film industry evolves, Hollywood must navigate these complex dynamics, balancing economic interests with maintaining creative freedom and diversity in storytelling. Understanding China's influence in Hollywood is crucial as it continues to shape our global cultural landscape. 
In this interconnected world, the films we watch are not just a source of entertainment, but also a lens through which we view and understand different cultures. As audiences, we must remain aware and engaged, understanding the nuances behind our favorite blockbusters. But the story doesn't end here. This grand narrative of international influence in Hollywood continues to unfold as we speak. It's a storyline that involves us all, as viewers, as critics, as lovers of cinema. The power to shape this narrative is not confined to the boardrooms of Hollywood or the opulence of Beijing. It lies in our hands, in our ability to question, to learn, to engage. So let's write the next chapter together. Subscribe for more insights, for more discussions that delve beyond the surface. Let's continue this conversation online and offline. Comment with your thoughts, share this video with your circles, spark a dialogue, each voice adds to the symphony of change. The future of Hollywood is not a predetermined script. It's a screenplay in progress, and every ticket we buy, every opinion we voice, every story we tell contributes to its direction. Together, we can navigate the changing tides of Hollywood's future.